Ladies and gentlemen, next we have a presentation from our conference partner. This will be presented by Sri Venkat Ramana Gosavi, SVP and Global Head of Sales and Alliance, Infosys Fenical. In his role as Global Head of Sales and Alliance, he is a part of the leadership team at Fenical. He is responsible for developing global sales strategy and bringing clinical execution focused to delivering on Fenical's growth aspirations. Welcome, sir. Can I have you on stage, sir? Thank you. A very good evening to all the ladies and gentlemen here. I've been here right from the Jyoti Prajwalan. I think this has been a very, very, you know, informal and very informative session. And I, I was glad that, you know, we were all able to participate. I saw some people, you know, more outside the conference room than inside. But I think whoever stayed inside, I think, you know, has benefited a lot. And I really want to thank IBA for giving us the opportunity to be here today. So we from Infosys Fenical, like, first of all, you know, have a, what to say, debt of gratitude to pay to all our clients who are here from the banks here in India, the financial institutions here in India. Like, we've had a, the privilege of you know, participating in this entire evolution of banking which has happened here for a number of years. So, you know, courtesy of, like, our company, courtesy of, you know, the solution which we bought, the Finical, you know, what we call the truly digital solution, what we have brought to the table. I think we've had the privilege of being an active participant in this journey. And that is borne out by the numbers which you are seeing here, where we have, like, seven public sector banks, 13 private sector, 10 international and then, you know, a lot of the new generation payment banks and also like a hundred plus, you know, regional rural banks, cooperative banks. So I think we, we are across the spectrum of the banking industry today. We've had a role to play and we are very proud of that. And we want to thank you for like, you know, the partnership which has been there with us for the last two decades. So thank you very much. And like, you know, we really want to look forward that we want to say that we will continue to be relevant you know, for all that the banks are aspiring to do. Now, in the morning when we started the session, I'm sure all of you heard the fact that, you know, the world of banking, the world of financial services is evolving so rapidly. So therefore, it has become very essential for every part of that ecosystem, including like what we call as going beyond core, also has to evolve at the same speed so that clients can continue to derive the benefit and then they don't need to look like, you know, outside. So our journey, if we were to capture it here in a few slides, just for you, like for folks who have been associated with us since year 2000, like you would have seen that we had one solution at that point of time, which is just the core banking. And after that, like, you know, we've now moved on. And today, courtesy of the continued investments which we have made in the product, the feedback which we have received from all the stakeholders, whether it's our client banks, whether it's the industry influencers, whether it's our implementation partners, what's happened is like we've been able to like truly modularize and give clients the choice of saying without doing everything at one go, like you can choose whatever is your priority and you can actually implement these solutions in an independent manner and still derive the benefits of like, you know, a modern platform. So this is one example. The second example here is like, you know, I think enough and more has been spoken from the morning about like the movement which is happening on the technology front where from a predominantly on-premise kind of deployment which clients had across the world, including here in India, I think the movement to the cloud has got accelerated over the last three or four years. So we are working in a variety of models, private, public, hybrid, like, you know, in some markets and for some segment of clients, we are also offering, you know, the whole banking platform as a, you know, in the form of a software as a service. And I think suffice to say that there's a lot of investment which is going so that, you know, you can choose which is the model which you want to do, which is in compliance with what, you know, is required. And obviously, I just want to highlight one thing that initially, like, it's quite likely that we were doing a lot of things on our own. But today, like, you know, working with our ecosystem partners, like, you know, IBM is here, like, PwC was there, like, you know, I mean, there are lots of, you know, Dynatrace, a lot of partners of ours are there. And I think today our clients are seeing a great amount of value that we are actually associated with all of them. And we are saying, we'll bring what we are good at 
and the others will bring what they are good at, but ultimately the client will benefit from the partnership. Now, this is actually very important for you to observe that uh, today I, there's external acknowledgement from the analysts, you know, who are like people who actually are examining the trends and looking at the way the world is evolving. I think retail has had a huge amount of focus, but now actually the action is shifted on the corporate side and we have a number of engagements, not just here, but across the world where we are doing corporate banking, we are doing enterprise payments. A lot of clients are saying, how do we continue to have stickiness and enable convenience for our clients through wealth management? I think, you know, all of that is happening very well. And of course, like the channel continues to play a big role with the help of the digital engagement. So this is what I just wanted to share with all of you. And I want to thank you for like, you know, the continued partnership we've had for the 20 plus years. At Infosys, like we continue to remain committed. And our theme as of today is that if you say that you're best, it's only at a point in time. So in order to have a sense of timelessness to the way we work with our clients globally, we just thought we'll use the word better. So like at this point of time, we are saying that we want to work with you to see to it that you become better and better day by day. We want to ensure that we are able to give you the technology which enables you to you know, engage better with your clients, operate better within your own environment, wherever you are. And then the last thing, of course, is like, you know, the technology will get better and better. So what happens is you can actually ensure that you have this optimum business model which you are able to take to your clients. And the technology is the underlying piece of all of that. But the most important thing is it has to serve your business needs. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the opportunity to be here today amidst you. We feel deeply enriched. We are very, very heartened with all the conversations which have happened from today morning, where I think there's so much of excitement about how our industry landscape is evolving. And I think I want to assure you that we want to walk the talk with you. You know, as you continue to raise the bar, as you continue to do much more, you know, in this particular country where, you know, somebody told me that, you know, this is one of the rare moments in history where we have great continuity as far as government is concerned. We have great continuity as far as policy is concerned. And I think implementation is something which everybody is working to enable. So I think we also seize the opportunity. And I think, you know, the only history will tell that I think these are the brightest moments I think are still ahead of us. Thank you very much and have a very good evening. Thank you.